Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Leroy, and welcome to my channel, 40 and Broke, where we're all about getting out of debt, saving, investing, and getting our finances under control so we can live the life we've always dreamed of, because that's what it's all about, living the life we've always dreamed of. So once again, Finance Friday, got my uh, cards here, and last week, the last I seen, I was at 44 likes, so we're adding $44 to that emergency fund. We're going to do this car oh i did it again almost uh almost lost them almost went everywhere you know i know finance minute he's looking for that bloopers reel but as of right now i don't have a bloopers reel i've been doing pretty good with my videos but uh so let's see what we got here what did i say we had 44 likes that's three less than last week ah man we got to get those likes up so if you're watching this Give me a big thumbs up for that YouTube algorithm and for my like challenge. Because with this video again, however many likes I get on this video, I'm going to add a dollar to my emergency fund. So we got to beat that 47. That's what we had, not last week, but the week before, 47. So we got to beat it. So let's see what we got here. Queen. Queen. $13. So 44 and 13, that's $57. Okay, so we got $57 going to my emergency fund. I'll take it. That'll help me out. I think that'll put me, I don't know, because I spent it the last time on the mattress for my oldest daughter. Put me probably right around $150, $160 on it. Next week, maybe I'll do an update, see where it's at. No, I got to do it the end of the month so but what i am doing this month is marlene over at snow gardener 307 she challenged me to do a net worth video and the funny thing was i had watched a net worth video a while back i think it was mommy trader and aaron twibbles around aimlessly and i was like i've always said i really have to do this and sit down and figure it out so they both told me, yes, you have to. And Aaron was like, just do it. It only takes like 10 minutes. Super simple. You can tweak it later. And then I was like, yeah, I guess I can. I can tweak it later. So between that and challenge accepted, Marlene, even though it was already accepted, right here, figured it out. I figured out a very basic net worth. So I'm going to start with my liabilities and some of this stuff is rounded up just to make even numbers. So my house, I owe $67,000 on my house. The Jeep, we owe $5,500. The roof, I owe $13,700. The credit card, $5,000. My lawnmower, I owe $1,250. Medical bills, we owe ten thousand. Um, a lawyer fee for medical bills that got garnished, sent to court. Um, we still owe a thousand on that, and the wife's credit card is eleven hundred dollars. And I sat down and I'm like, I think that's basically everything that I have for liabilities. So that come out to. One hundred and one hundred and four thousand dollars. One hundred and four thousand five hundred and fifty dollars. So one oh four five fifty. Little over a hundred thousand dollars. Let's say a hundred and five thousand dollars is what I have in liabilities. And I guess the wife says some of that's lower because she don't even think the medical bills are at ten thousand. But like I said, I rounded up. So then. I went to my assets and now some of this stuff like my car my truck stuff like that the Jeep I actually went on like Kelly Blue Book and stuff like that and gave what I believe would be a rough estimate of what it was so my house I just estimated between what it was I don't know three four years ago when they first did the um, whatchamacallit on it, where the appraisal for the loan. So it was just a bank appraisal, basic appraisal that said, they were like, hey, 
basically they're going to come out and say it's appraised at whatever the loan is, which is what it was. They're like, oh, you need an $80,000 loan. Oh, look at that. It's worth $80,000. Boom. So the wife, we sat down <clears throat> and we assumed with 80000 plus the property, plus the improvements we've made on everything, you know, we're like, 150,000 would be a pretty good estimate. So, without an appraisal, we're just going with 150. So, then my car 1750, I mean, it's 20 years old. My truck, it's about 20 years old also, but it's in decent shape, so I'd say it's worth 4500. My camper 4000, it's in good shape. The Jeep 7500 because that's in excellent condition what i got here got spots from looking in the light can't tell what to say oh m1 my m1 account is uh 2368 my robin hood is at 1225 that's actually been dropped because i've been taking money out of robin hood because they upset me so i'm like i'm done putting money into your uh platform but that's a whole nother video that i've got coming i i had fun with them and i've been transferring that over to weeble so in my weeble account like i in when i did this i had 185 dollars but that's more now that's like 300 and something now because i've been like i said pulling the money out of robin hood putting it into weeble my 401k was a little over thirty five thousand, and that's a little more because i've I don't know, I've put more money into it since I did this, I think. I had one more check that went in there, and I put 8% of my pay in it. No, 7% of my pay. And then my company matches 3% because I because I just bumped up the 7 to 8%, so I don't know if it'll make it on my next check next week or if it'll be in two weeks because I get paid every other week. So anyways, my 401k is at 31, 35000 I did an M1 account in Amy's name, and I've only put a couple hundred dollars in that. So that's got $300 in it. And my lawnmower, which I paid a lot of money for it, so I'm writing that down. That thing's worth probably $4,500. So I did not count my wife's 401k plans. She has two of them at least. So I'm going to say... 12, maybe 15,000 in those, maybe a little more, I don't know, 20,000. So I don't know. So we'll, I'm, I didn't even put that in there. But anyways, my assets, I come out to $211,000. So 105 liabilities, 211,000 assets, which gives me a net worth of $106,000, probably more. I was shocked. Because my goal, I had a goal, and I said this a couple years ago, that my goal is to be a millionaire before I'm 50. And just by looking at these, look, pen scratches on a notepad, I figured I'm worth my, our, I don't want to say mine, our, mine and my wife's, net worth is $106,000. We're a tenth of a millionaire's. So, hey, I think that's awesome. So... There we go. There's my uh, there's my net worth, and I'm gonna keep tweaking that. I'm gonna get better. I'll probably actually watch some net worth videos and see what I can do better because I seen Marlene. She did that uh, thing where she uh, did her percentage. So I'm gonna have to watch that video again, look and see what she did, and I will go from there. So I'll add my percentage. So there we go. I we're we're tenths of a millionaires. I mean or hundred thousand errors that, that's awesome i never thought i'd say that hundred thousand errors and a lot of that's you know liquid which surprisingly i mean granted if i were to liquidate it i would get hit up on taxes but you know still i mean if i needed some money boom i could pull it right out there it's pretty liquid so there it is. Now, once again, I'm going to give some shout outs in this video. I have no clue who I was going to shout out. I didn't even think about it. So I'm going to do a shout out. In fact, um, I don't even think I have an ink pen here, 
But, okay, let me think of some shout-outs. I'm going to do, she has cash and plans. She does envelope stuffings and budgeting, stuff like that. Um, we're going to go with Aleda Adele. She does the same thing, the cash stuffing envelopes. And I'm going to go with, who can I go with on the stock market? Piece of the pie with Ty. I'm going to go with that. And if you've been a subscriber for me for a long time and I haven't given you a shout out, put your name down in the comments and say, hey, why didn't you shout me out? Because, you know, I was looking through my subs and I was just trying to say, who, who can I do some shout outs for? So, so that's what we got. I'm going to go with those ones because those are the names that popped right off, off my name. What I say? What? She has cash and plans. Aleda Adele and uh, piece of the pie with Ty. So anything else, always look down in my comments. All the people that comment on my videos have channels. So go over to those comments, go into those comments, look down, go give those people some love, go subscribe, go check out their channels. You know, that's the best way to build your community. Check in the, the comments. Like I said, 99% of the people that comment on my channel are, um, they are, people that have their own channels in the finance finance niche so you know i've rambled on i was talking about my net worth so you know hey give this video a big thumbs up for that youtube algorithm comment down below and uh hey let me know do you uh um um track your net worth and if so do you find it to be you know a good tool to show you where you're at. I mean, I thought it was pretty good. You know, I'm a hundred thousand air. So hey, hundred thousand air. I'm a, I'm out of here. All right. Y'all have a good evening.